In this seminar, I'll be covering some really cool new features for 2016 Speedform PE release. The highlights are faster performance, customization, a new auto body primitive that is out of this world, and improved feature workflows. I think the net of this release are two things, increasing your speed in working with your shapes and giving you more control over your shape. While we are in this interior, let's talk about some changes to our scene. You should see two types of surfaces. T-splines, like we see on the door panel, have black surface edges. T-splines are very powerful technology that give advanced benefits and precision that other tech, like sub -Ds, can't offer, such as high quality creases. Sometimes speed is more important than precision. Because of that, we have a new simplified T-spine mode shown with the cyan-colored surface edges. This mode limits the precision and internal continuity of T-points of T-splines and other significant speed advantages. This simplified T-spline mode takes advantage of the open sub-Ds tech that Maya uses. You can work just in the simplified T-splines mode to get strict speed benefits or you can work in a full T-spline mode to get the benefits of the T-spline precision. In the latter case, you can get a simplified preview of the T-splines to have the fast speed interaction while still being able to get the precise shape with one single mouse click. The simplified preview will approximate some areas of the T-spline and show those with dotted lines. To introduce this, I'll show you yet another advancement to the PE release with customized hotkeys. If you choose to, you can customize any of the hotkeys using this tool. Just enter the new hotkey assignment and you will have your own personal chosen hotkeys. Scrolling down to the display mode though, I want to highlight two things. For the last couple of releases, hotkey shortcuts for display mode are one for box, two for hybrid, and three for smooth. And secondly, we added a new simplified preview and assigned it four. As a quick review, press one for box, press two for hybrid, press three for smooth, which shows the actual surfaces, and press four for simplified preview. For this release, we've improved overall performance. Talking about performance, I'm working on a complete stylized interior done in Speedform and half of the exterior body of the car created in Alias. I get real-time performance, even with so much data. The first thing that I want to show you is that from a user's perspective, working with simplified T-spline is just like working with T-splines. I can cut the surface, and it provides results that look the same as I would have gotten from a T-spline surface. The second example is an extrude out of the surface. Click and pull, and the performance is nearly instantaneous. To convert a simplified T-spline surface to a T-spline, we need a tool with exact mode, and both the add point and subdivide give you exact mode. I'll just cut the shape. We now have black surface edges, telling us that we have a T-spline surface. The single cut did not isolate to the surface patch, but extends beyond. Therefore, there can be some differences in the overall control after conversion to T-splines. If I delete the surface edge and then switch to simplified display mode, I'll see yet another difference between T-splines and simplified T-spline surfaces. Looking at the seat back, there are new dashed lines visible. This mode shows simplified T-spline representation, and for T-splines, this will show an approximation of the simplified T-spline. Because this representation doesn't support T-points directly, it provides an approximation and thus the dashed lines. So once again, going back to performance, remember the real-time ability to extrude out to surface. Let's try it with the T-spline surface. I'm dragging out the control, 
and waiting and waiting. To extrude this, it took nearly five seconds to see the result, while doing this in the simplified T-spline was nearly instantaneous. But watch what happens when I press 4 to switch to simplified display mode and do the same operation. Once again, instantaneous. I hope you get the picture of why we added simplified T-splines into Speedform. Simplified T-splines give performance improvements to your workflow when working with a lot of data. And simplified display mode gives performance improvements when you work with both surface types. We also have a new primitive with this release that makes it fun to create the exterior of the car. My setup here is a plane at the edge of the car. I'll select it and then start the wheel arch primitive. Clicking on the center point of the wheel and dragging up to define the next two curves, we'll do the same operation on the back. And POW! We have the basic form visible. We can control these shapes as we wish with plenty of numerical controls. I want to extend down the sides by using 220 degrees for both the front and the back. I'm going to do a little cleanup by increasing the inside edge. Increasing the edge closest to the wheel. Development tells me that this is fixed with the next service patch. Now let's create the rest of the car. I'll extrude out, switch to the front view, and pull it back to here. Once again, extrude out a little, switch to the front view, and pull it back here. From the side view, I can begin tweaking to match our sketch. Finally, I'll extrude this straight back towards the center of the car. We'll clean this up later. The point here is that in less than three minutes, you can create a basic representation of the car. I can keep refining the shape. Add curvature analysis to the shape. And even add symmetry if I want to. As you can imagine, our goal has been to provide you with a quick ability to start your concept modeling process. The next new enhancement I want to show you is the Edit with Line tool. Part of the mesh modeling approach is crafting the shape, but also controlling the structure so that it is well behaved. Refining an edge can be tedious, but using the Edit with Line tool allows you to really control the edge dynamically. I'll select the first edge, and then the second edge. A spline curve is created, which I'll change to 2 degree. Editing the spine is exciting. Watch as I adjust this curve how the surface edge is pulled with a simple spline curve. The surface edge is continually smooth and adjusting to conform to that spline curve. I started using this tool nearing the end of development of this PE release. And it is one tool that I will use in almost every shape I create. Well done, Speedform team. In previous releases, you might have seen the Pole Tool. If you've watched any of my videos online, you will have seen this tool. With this release, the Pole Tool has two new offerings, a 2D curve and a 1D curve. I'll show you the operation of the 2D curve. 
I'm going to create the sketch using this spline curve. The CV curve could have worked as well, but this curve has to be planar. I'll form the shape of the curve. Now I'll take a moment to make sure that the curve is flat against the plane. If it is not planar, recreate the sketch. Then activate the pull tool. I like controlling the selection of this curve, so I'll select this curve manually. We're in surface points mode because we are in the smooth display mode. And now I'll pick each of the surface points across the edge. The edge is now moved in this view to the curve. By moving the view around, we can see that it did not affect the Y direction. This is perfectly suited for controlling feature lines of your shape. I hope you're as excited as I am about this release. Let's review what we saw. New performance with simplified T-splines, a primitive that makes creating the bones of the car very quick, controlling the surface shape using a 3D spline curve, and pulling the surface in only 2D space. So go get speed forming.